Hey everyone, I'm Scott, and I want to share with you a question that my son recently asked me. My eight-year-old asked one day as we were driving around in the car, he said, Dad, what is the meaning of life? Now, that kind of took me off guard because I don't expect my eight-year-old to ask such philosophical questions. And so as I thought about how I'd respond to him, I said, son, what do you think the meaning of life is? And he told me that, you know, he thought about it for a moment and he said, dad, I think the meaning of life is to be nice to other people. And I thought that's a pretty good answer. You know, that's a pretty good answer for an eight-year-old, be nice to other people. It also made me wonder how come he's not a little nicer to his siblings, if that's the meaning of life, but let's not worry about that right now. So I thought, okay, I have to answer him. And I thought about it, you know, what is the meaning of life? And then it kind of came to me, Jesus explains to us what the meaning of life is. And of all the people who have tried to say, here's the meaning of life, I think Jesus's answer is the best. And I'm a Christian, so maybe you'd say, of course, I think Jesus's answer is the best. But Jesus answered this question, I think, perfectly for us. And we find Jesus's answer in Matthew 22. You see, in Matthew 22, some people came together and they basically asked Jesus, kind of in a way, in his own context, they said, Jesus, what is the meaning of life? And they phrased it a little differently. They said, Jesus, what is the most important commandment in the law? What is the greatest commandment in God's law? And they were not being genuine with Jesus. They were trying to trick him. But Jesus used this instance to show us what is in fact the most important commandment in the Bible, or to phrase it a bit differently in our world, what is the most important thing in life? What is the meaning of life? And let's take a look at Jesus's answer. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Jesus says that everything in the Bible can be summarized in two simple commands. Love God, love other people. That's the meaning of life. That's why God put you here on this earth, so that you could love God and love other people. And the Bible really just kind of spends the rest of its time sort of unpacking what it means to love God, what it means to love other people, and what that really looks like. But that's how simple that command is. That in, if we want to get at the true meaning of life in every situation, we would ask ourselves, how can I love God in this situation? And how can I really love other people? A couple observations I want to make about this. Uh, first of all, the, the Bible says we need to put God first. Jesus says that the meaning of life, the secret of life, is to love God first. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and, and strength, he says in another passage. And I have another video that talks about what it means to love God with all of your mind. But it's really important that you put God first. You know, my son said that the, the meaning of life was to be nice to people to put other people first. And that's a pretty good answer, but the Bible says actually God goes in that first spot. The most important person to love with all of our hearts is God because he is our creator, he's our savior, he's the king of the universe, he loves us more than anyone else. And so God de deserves that first place of devotion in our lives. But second place, you love other people. And that's really important because in other words, the meaning of life happens through selflessness. Like if you want to understand what the secret to life is, it's loving God and it's loving other people and it's really putting yourself in third place in your life. Because that's, that's pretty shocking, right? Because we go through our, our lives and we spend all of our time or most of our time thinking about ourselves and taking care of our needs and our desires and our wants. But the Bible says that real joy, real meaning comes through simply loving God and loving other people. And I want to encourage you to spend some time really thinking about this, really meditating on it. And if you're a Christian, really pray about this because if you really change the focus of your life and you make it about loving God and loving other people, it will radically change the way you look at your world. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I've got some other videos on this passage and on this subject matter. And uh, if you have any comments, please put those below and please subscribe to my channel.